All right. Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to be cutting out this cracker and cheese tray um, on my Shea Poco Pro using Carbide 3D for the design. As you can see, I already have the tray itself designed. Um, for the bits we're going to be using today, it's just going to be two. I'm going to be using this bowl and tray bit and then just a regular quarter inch end mill. It says it should take about 25 minutes to cut, so we'll get that going and see how it turns out. All right, everybody, we already have our piece of wood here um, fastened down to the table. That seems good and secure. It's already been, uh, zero. the machine's already been zeroed out and home. So we'll go ahead and put in the bowl and tray bit and start getting this cut going. Make sure that's good and tight. We're done. Let's see how it turned out. Looks good. Oops. Looks like it cut all the way through. So we'll go ahead and take it off, take it to the bandsaw, and get start getting these tabs cut out. Okay, again, I really like how this turned out. We'll cut these tabs, then sand it, and then it uh, should be ready for um, mineral oil and uh, Seal it up and then should be good to use. Let's get started on the cutting. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. It is just a little long, so the next one I make I'll probably shorten it, and the next ones will be made out of, uh, probably out of oak instead of pine like this one is. This is mostly just to test the file and see how it worked before I started using the hardwoods and the more expensive woods. So we'll sand it and uh, should be getting close to good to go. All right, everybody, so we're gonna go ahead and start sanding this cheese tray here. Um, pretty smooth already, pretty good shape, so I'll probably just go straight to a 80 grit instead of doing a 40 or a 60. Um, needs a little shaping, make it feel better, knock off uh, some of these edges just a little bit. Not gonna do so much where I need to put it on the router table or anything, but uh, we'll go ahead and get started. This, so this end feels pretty good. We'll go ahead and get started on this other end, and then we'll switch over to a finer grid, and we'll be about done. Okay, that feels pretty good. We'll go ahead and switch over to a finer grid, get some of this green paint from this countertop taken off, and then we should be good to start oiling it. Down. Okay, that's pretty good. There's still a couple of rough spots up here. I'll knock that down with a piece of hand sandpaper here and it should be good to go. Okay, that feels pretty good, nice and smooth. So we'll go ahead and get it blown off, oil it, and it should be good to go. Okay, hey everybody, just got this blowed off with the air compressor to get all the little dust out of it. To coat this, we're going to use the Butcher Block Oil Plus Stain. This is a hazelnut color. So, uh, it is food safe for cutting boards, Butcher Block, salad bowls, and more. I actually haven't used this before with the stain in it, so we'll try it out and see how it does. Start on the back here, see what it looks like. Okay, we'll let that sit for a few minutes and then we'll do the other side and it should be good to go. Alright everybody, while we wait for the carbon tray to dry, you could like video subscribe to the channel there's going to be lots of cutting boards serving trays christmas gift ideas a lot of projects coming down the pipe really quick so it's good hit the subscribe button really help me out appreciate it all right we're back so the uh butcher block oil that we used on here is dried and soaked in i went ahead and i've already coated it in this butcher block conditioner which is just a uh, combination of wax and mineral oil you can actually make it yourself that's when i picked this up at lowe's um, to apply it, you just work some out on your workpiece, rub it in, let it soak, and then you wipe off any excess, and it should be good to go. So I like how this one turned out so much, I went ahead and made one out of oak. So that's what this one is. Made it exactly the same way, except instead of using the uh, stain mineral oil mix, I just used just the straight butcher block oil. And so as you can see, they uh, both turned out pretty good, I think. 
I do definitely prefer the oak over the pine one, but the pine one was mostly just to test the file anyway in the toolpath. I definitely like the oak one more. Here's the final product, and thanks for watching.